What's up everybody, let's talk Jets radio. Quick video here looking at the Jets schedule which was just released and of course the Jets get Carolina week one. Go figure. Um, that's the last game I wanted week one, not because again, I'm, I'm not rooting for Sam Darnold, let's get that straight right now, um, but just because of all the distractions, I think that's the last thing you want, you know, having to, you know, read the paper the next day, God forbid you lose the game, and there's all this talk, you know, questioning the decision to move on from him. Um, granted, you know, it can go the opposite way, Zach Wilson, you know, lights it up, beats out a, a fourth year Sam Darnold, plays better than him, and makes everybody look like a genius, that could definitely happen. Um, but just again, all, all the distractions, all the pressure that comes with that game uh, for week one, I, I just, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, looking at the rest of the schedule though, I, I actually love the way that this kind of works out for us. Uh, you got nine home games versus eight road games. One of those road games being at London where the Jets have a huge fan base. So that's basically a home game. So essentially you have 10 home games. Uh, seven road games, and you finish off the year six of nine at home. So I think that's favorable. You also look at some of the games, uh, you know, the Jaguars and the Bucks. they got to come here in December. I think that's to our advantage. Um, we're going to Denver uh, week three in, in the season instead of, you know, week 16, week 17, where it'll be a mess out there. Granted, they do have to play at Buffalo week 18, which isn't ideal. Um, you know, we've been down to Buffalo, uh, you know, a couple times, especially once uh, week 17 wasn't all that good. Also, they only get the one Thursday night game. Uh, at Indy week nine. Um, again, I, I didn't expect a whole lot of primetime games. I was hoping for at least a Sunday night game. Clearly by the conversation with Steve last night, I was hoping that um, you know maybe the NFL would acknowledge the Jets are, or maybe uh, a team on the rise could be exciting this year. Uh, but again, one Thursday night game, I think only one four o'clock game and every other game is slated, I think for, for one o'clock. I, I think they do have one game that's scheduled possibly, I think for a Saturday, if I, if I read it right, against Miami. Um, but all in all, you know, not too much to, to really look into. You got the Bengals on Halloween week eight against Joe Burrow at home. Um, you get the Patriots both times uh, in the first half of the season, week two at home as the home opener. And then at New England week seven, you get your bye right after the London game, which I think is good week six. Um, so really not a whole lot to look into. Uh, like I said, I, I do think the, the second half of the schedule does favor the Jets. Six out of nine games at home, including, um, you know, you get to see the Bills twice in the second half of the year, which I, I think, uh, you know, we talked last night, I would definitely prefer seeing them later in the year instead of early where new head coach, new quarterback, guys trying to get their feet wet, guys trying to get acclimated. Uh, I'd much rather see them later in the year when I think we'll, we'll be more ready to give them a challenge. Um, at new, uh, at uh, the Texans, week 12, home for the Eagles and Saints back-to-back. So it's actually four out of five games where they'll be home, which is pretty cool. Um, and, and six out of eight, actually, if you're looking at it, the last game of the year being at Buffalo. Um, so yeah, not not a whole lot to go crazy about. We'll be uh, we'll be at Carolina trying to plan some other road trips. It sucks. We were, we were trying to go out to Atlanta, but now that they're in London, I don't think we'll be doing that. Um, but the indie game Thursday night that could be one. Um, I wouldn't mind going to Denver week three, uh, but we'll see what happens. We're definitely going to plan some stuff. So stay tuned and hope you guys are well.